Hello Group 8, Miss Kathleen here and um, we're going to do some join-in lessons and we'll do this with the PowerPoint video as well as films from the unit. So first have a look at the film of, for this lesson and then we'll get started. So you've watched the film now we're going to answer some questions. First though, you don't need your book. First you're going to be thinking for yourself. Can you name some animals that you saw in the film? What animals did you see in the film? Can you name maybe at least five? Pause the PowerPoint film so that you can think about the animals you saw. Well done. Let's have a look at some of the names. There was a panther, a giraffe, a cheetah, there was a, a rhino, a flamingo, wildebeest. We also call them a gnu in English. A shark, they talked about tropical fish, a zebra, a lizard. They'd mentioned a lion, but we didn't see it. There were some other animals, but I'm not too sure what they're called. If you can find out, now extra points for you. All right, let's go to your workbook. Open your workbook at page 20. The first question, where is the reporter? In the zoo, in a museum or in a rainforest? Next question. Why do the caretakers hide the food for the panthers? They want the panthers to eat less meat than they do in the wild. They want to make it more fun for the visitors. Or they want the panthers to use their instincts to find the food. You can note now the right answers. Let's check. Where's the reporter in the zoo? We saw that at Burger Show. That's where they are. And they want the panthers to use their instincts. They're talking a lot about instincts in this film. The second question is all about zoo environments. Environment is the kind of nature where an animal lives. You see different types of environments on the pictures and the words. So there's an ocean, a grassy plain. They also call that a savanna. A desert and a rainforest. An extra part, something more that I'd like you to do, is write down under each environment word uh, an animal that lives in that environment. So for example, on the grassy plain in the savanna, you can find a zebra or a zebra. Let's look at the answers. Those are the pictures to the right words. And here are some examples of animals in the ocean, in the grassy plain, in the rainforest, and in the desert. These are mostly animals that they talked about in the film, but there are plenty more that you can add. Now, well done. That was our part with the film. So now you're going to work on task one. Flip your workbook, go to page 22 and do task one. The answers to the task I'll give you in our next uh, PowerPoint film. Well done and we'll see you again next time. Bye bye.